Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing us how to make this stretch skirt, long stretch skirt and a peplon blouse. The shorter one is 144 degrees flay, while the longer, longer one is 720 degrees. If this is what you would love to watch, kindly sit back and roll with me. On my table is the African print I'll be using to achieve the style I just showed you. And it's six yards and all i'll be making use of all because it's a long sleeve um blouse with peplon and then a long a long um skirt so this is what i'll be using to achieve this and also i'll be using a three yards of um lining to line the skirt and then my scissors and my chalk and my tape rule for this purpose of this tutorial if you're coming across this channel for the first time i would love you to do me a favor kindly hit on the subscribe button to get us to 1000 subscribers I hope this will be of a benefit to you. So do not forget to love and share this video and invite your friends to always join us. So our existing subscribers will do not take you for granted. We love you all. Let's dive into the tutorial proper. to work i'll be cutting the back and the front together this is the back and this is the front you can see i've already given a one and a half inch um zip allowance look at this it's one and a half inch and then i have taken the length of my skirts is 42 then remember we'll be working with a band so i've taken the length of my band uh, my band is um one and a half inch so i'll be taking one and a half inch off the length I am doing. So one and a half inch off, then I mark my full length at 42. I mark my two, full length at 42. You can see 42. Then I took two inches for hemming. Then I took my waist to hip at 10. My waist to hip at 10. Then to shoulder to nail at 921. That is the basic the um, measurement we need here. I remember to determine the the material you'll be using for to cut out the skirts. You have to work with your biggest measurement. The biggest measurement here for me is the waist and the, the hip, and the hip is 40. 40 divided by 2 gave me 40 divided by 4 give me 10. Then I added one inch. Two inches sewing allowance plus zip allowance that was what determined what i'm using here now so we're going ahead to take our measurements we're going ahead to include our measurements the waist i am working on here the waist i'm working on is 38 38 divided by two will give me 9.2 so look at where i am starting i am not starting from here this is the zip allowance, so I'm just starting from here. So I'm going to be marking 9.5 here. Then the hip itself is 10. I'm just going to mark 10 here. Then I'll from here, from this 10, I'll just take out 2 inches from here. Then I'll mark it on the, on the nail length. That's our mark. Instead of marking 10, I'll mark 8. And also mark 8 on the full length. So just watch me as I do this. Then I'll go ahead and add my 2 inches sewing allowance. That's how simple it is to mark a pencil skirt. I'll just mark, add my 2 inches sewing allowance on all the measurements that I have taken. 2 inches sewing allowance. Then two inches here, so in allowance. I'll connect. This is it. So what I'll just do next is that I'll go ahead and cut it out. This is the front and this is the back. So 
So what next we're going to do we do our head to cut the blouse. First blouse, remember to determine the material as well. You're going to be working with your big side, biggest measurement. Biggest measurement here is the bust, and I've gone ahead to do that. I the bust is um, 42 divided by 2 is uh, 10.5, then I took 10.5. Added considered all my allowances. This is going to be a bustier. I did like extra five inches allowance to accommodate all the bustier, all the measurement that I'll be making. So this place now is my borderline. This is my from here to here is 10 inches. That is my boss point. From here to here is uh, 15 inches. That is my under boss. And from here to here is 20 inches. It's supposed to be 19. I'm supposed to mark it on 19. 19 is the waistline, but I added one inch for the joining of the peplum and then the shoulder so i'm going to be going ahead to take my shoulder to shoulder measurement which is 17 17 divided by 2 will give me 8.8.5 i marked it at this place to get my to get my okay i'll go ahead here and come down by a uh, one inch then because this is um, a high neck this is a high neck i'll be coming down here by two inches and then I'll be taking my round neck at four inches. My, so I'm just going to connect this just like this. Then I'll connect this to this place. I'll connect it to the. So to get my, I'm holded. From here, I'm just going to come up by two inches to form my chest line, which automatically becomes my I'm holded. Then what I'll be doing next is to impute my my boss measurement, which is nine ten point five. I'll also mark it here to get my ammo curve. So what I'll be doing now is to get the middle point of this. The midpoint of this is um three point five. Then I'll come out here by half an inch. So I'll just mark. So what I'll do is to connect it with my ruler. So here. So that is our curve. So I'll be taking my boss point. My boss point here, that's nipple to nipple measurement, is nine is four. So I'll mark four at the boss point. On the bust and then the waistline. I'll connect the two dots. Then here I'll be coming out by one and a half inch. Then here I'll go in by one inch. There's the same thing I'll do here. One and a half inch. And here I'll go in by one inch. That just connects the lines that I then from here, I just come down by one, one inch. Then I will do the to connect this. Then from the chest line, I will extend this line. From the chest line, from this um connection that we made. I'm going to be doing a curved. I'm going to be making a curve to connect it to the bust. So just like this. I'm connecting it like this. So I'm going to make sure that this is curved. That this piece is curved like this. So this is our posterior. Our posterior is formed. It's just as simple. As this remember I came out here I took my darts then came down here by half an inch because it's a princess posterior I just connected the curve to the armhole area so what I'll be doing now is to take my measurement I've already done this which is 10.5 which I marked here I'll add my two inches so in okay two and a half inch so in allowance because I'll be joining this um, that here so two and a half inch so I'll also add two and a half inch here. Then here, I'll just come here and add my waist. My waist measurement is um, 13, 38 divided by two, which is 9.5. I'll add my 
I will replace the two and a half inch I took from here, which is two and a half inch. I will now add two and a half inch for sewing allowance. So I will just use my ruler and connect the dots that I've made. Yeah, I'll have to record this. So remember, we'll be yanking off this piece. I'll just watch me as I do my cutting. That will be all. If in any way you feel lost or you don't understand anywhere, just feel free to drop your questions in the comment section. Here we'll have it. Our bustier is ready for the front. So we are just going to go ahead and cut the back. This is going to be more easier than the back. The more easier than the front. So I've taken my zip for the zip. I've taken the allowance for the zip. I've gone ahead to mark my neck depth. At half, one and a half inch. Remember, I've taken my borderline. This is my borderline. Remember, our shoulder to shoulder measurement is 17, which is divided by two, will give us 8.5. Then I've come down, then taking my armhole depth. So, what I'll be going ahead now is to compute, is to take my nipple to nipple measurement here. Remember, this is just, I just marked my boss point and then the under, my boss point and the waist. Um, line we don't need the under boss, so I'll just connect the lines. So on both sides here, I'll just be taking one one inch from both sides because there's nothing like a steer here. So I'll just take my one inch here and I take my one inch from here too as well. One inch here and then one inch here. I'll connect the lines. No, sorry, I'll just connect it like this from here. I'm not supposed to take it one inch there, so I'll just connect it like this straight. So from here, we're going to be looking for the midpoint the way we did with the front. We're just going to look for the midpoint, which is here. Then I'll just connect this straight. That's how easy it is to. So I'm just going to do it. It's going to come like this. It's going to be a little curvy here. It's not going to be too sharp. So that is it. So I'll just go ahead and compute my measurement. This is um, 10.5, which is um, 20, 40, 42 divided by 2. Then this piece is 9.5. I'm going to replace the two inches I took from here. And then I add my two and a half inch sewing allowance. Then here I'll add my two two and a half inch sewing allowance. Then I'll go ahead and use my ruler to connect the dots I have created. Like this. So that's basically it. Okay, from here, I'm going to come out by half an inch. I have an edge to this is to avoid bulginess, so I'll just connect it like this to this upper part. This is to avoid bulginess in any form at the back. Do remember to drop your concerns in the comment section. So once I'm done cutting out this, we'll be going ahead to join the materials to the material and the lining to the lining. Okay, here we have it. I've done a lot of things off camera to avoid this video being unnecessarily long. If you want to know how I arrived at this process, just scroll through my timeline and you'll see a lot of videos on how I joined it. So just feel free. I will go ahead and use my lining to turn the material. Just follow me as I do. So I'll go ahead and use my safety pin and hold it down at the neck area. And when I go to my machine, I will be joining it by half an inch. And after that, I will top stitch. Then I will join the two sides as well before I bring it back so that we'll see. I'll also do the same thing with the back. I'm going to do that all when I get to my machine area. And once I am done, I'll bring it so that we'll all see what we have done. All right, here we'll have it. You can see I've gone ahead to turn the neck. Look at how neat it is looking. I've done all that. Then I have done, joined the two sides as well. So the next thing that we'll be doing now is to join the, the shoulder. You can also see the back. I've always also done that as well. So we'll be going ahead to join the shoulders. So just pay attention on this. I'll make sure I align the two 
joining. That's the back and the front where I sewed the seam. I'll make sure I align the two. Then I will use the back lining to turn. I just watch me as look at what I did. I just use the back lining and turn it over to the front area. Then I'll use my pin and hold it because I'll be going down to my machine to hold it with one half an inch. What I did to this other shoulder, I will do to the other shoulder. And by so doing, the finishing of the shoulder will be very neat. So I'll go my machine and join it. Once I'm done joining it, I'll bring it so that we'll all see what we have done. Here we have it. You can see how neat it is looking. I've also gone ahead to use a loose stitches to hold the back so that I can get the actual measurement when joining the two sides. You can see how the finishing of the shoulder is looking too. So that is what I have all done. So we'll be going ahead to join the two sides right now. That's the front and the back. So you remember, we'll be taking our measurements now so that we can determine how many allowances, how, um, how many inch that is remaining for the allowance so that we can use it and join it. So I'm going to be using my tape rule to confirm the bust measurement. Remember, the bust measurement is 10 inches, which is 20. So I'm going to be measuring 20. We have 20. So I'll be using one inch by that side to join the bust area. Then on the waist area, I will also be going ahead to confirm that. And I will have like I'll have one inch to join the sides of the waist. So I'll be going ahead to join it on my machine by one inch. Remember, we gave two inches, we gave two and a half inches to so in allowance. We used a uh, one half inch to join the darts, then half inch to turn the lining, and then one inch to do this. Look at what you have done. So the next thing now is to record the armhole. Just feel free and record your own the way you desire it to be. So what I'll be doing next is to attach the sleeve. I've already gone ahead to prepare the sleeve. If you don't know how to prepare a basic sleeve, I have a video on that so you can go ahead and watch that as well. So what I'm going ahead to do now is to make sure the place I joined the sleeve and the place and the side seam of the dress aligns together and I'll use my safety pin to hold it down. Once I'm done holding it down, I will take it to my machine and join it by half an inch and join the sleeve to the dress, to the blouse by half an inch. And once I am done, I'll bring it so that we all see what we have done. I'll also do the same thing to the other armhole and the other sleeve as well. So watch me as I do this. All right, here we go. I am done joining the sleeve. You can see how beautiful it is looking, how neat and how nice it is looking. At this point, I'm going to be introducing our peplon. If you want to know the process of how I prepare the peplon, I'll be dropping the link in the comment section so that you feel free to go and watch it. The seven, um, the 720 degrees flay and then the 144 degrees flay as well. It's double peplon. So what I'll be doing now is to identify the center of the peplon. I'll just go to hold it together, then I notch the center. And I'll make sure, once I notch it, I will make sure that the center of the lining aligns with the center of the blouse we are making and then i will use my safety pin to hold it down why i'm doing this is because if there is any excess i would love to pleat it but if you don't want to pleat yours you can go ahead and cut it out recut it and then close these two sides as well so mine i'll just be pleating because i don't want i don't like cutting it out so once i finish joining it will look the way you're seeing it right now so i'm going to head over to my machine and use half an inch to join it all right, here we have it. I've gone ahead to finish. Our blouse is ready. I've gone ahead to also um, attach the zip. I've also attached the peplon. So the only thing remaining on this blouse is to iron it. It is just to give it a good press. So we are done with the blouse. The next time you'll be seeing this blouse will be on my mannequin. So I'm going to be setting it aside while we work on the skirt. If you have watched to this extent, please give me a thumbs up like my page if you have not subscribed kindly do so thank you so much for sitting through and thank you for watching up to this part all right we'll be going ahead to join the sides of the skirts remember we give um two inches for seam so i've used one inch to two, half inch to turn so what i'll be doing since remaining is just one and a half. So I'll be, I'll be stitching it by the sides by one and a half inch. I'll stitch it by this side, stitch it by this side. Then I will take the measurement of my measurement of the zip I'll be putting is going to be 
seven. So I'll just take, I'll just mark out seven here. Then from the waist to the, remember we have a um, one and a half inch band that we'll be using from the waist to the knee length is 21, 22. So I'll just mark 22. So what I'll be doing is that I will stitch from here to here. Then I will leave this place for the slits. Or I will still go down a little bit. So I'm going to be joining the two sides. I hope we have seen it. The two sides down. And this place too. Down by one half an inch. Then I will stitch this place by half an inch. Leaving the place. I will just leave this place open because of the zip. Then I will stitch and stop here. So that is what I'll be doing when I come. We'll now work on the band that I'll be using for the waist. Okay, here we'll have it. Feel free to trim out any excesses or anything you see hanging around. So here we'll have it. I've already gone ahead to join the two sides. Look at it. I've also gone ahead to use my hemming gum to hold down the slit area. Then I've already gone ahead as well to even open up the place for the zip as well. So this is what I have done so far. So we can see that our zip, our skirt is already almost ready so what we'll be doing next right now is to fix our band and once we fix our band and fix the zip everything is ready so i'll be going ahead my zip my band always if you're used to my channel you know that my band the width does not exceed one and a half inch and then the length i always take the um, the waist measurement which is 38 and then i'll add like extra four inches in case of any excess so that uh, it's a better i trim out the excess than it is shorter and remember also that when i am folding my band i always make one side to be longer than the other and the longer side will be inside the longer side will be inside while the shorter one will be outside because i'll be making the zip to go up I will not be closing, I will not be attaching the zip before attaching the um, the band. I'll first of all attach the band before I will now attach the zip. So I'll just go ahead, the way you see me place and my band, I'll go ahead and hold it with the safety pin. Then I will stitch at the tip of the band. I'll just stitch at the tip. But as I'm doing too, it is also holding it at the back. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to fix the zipper and then we'll bring it so that we'll see what we have done. All right, here we go. Our skirt is ready. You can see how beautiful it is looking. The only thing remaining here is just to fix a hook. That's the only thing remaining. So we are done with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was of a benefit to you. Please do not forget to leave a like if you have not done so before leaving the channel. And if you have not subscribed to our page, to our channel, kindly do so. Thank you for sitting through and thank you for watching. I love you guys. I love you guys. Keep um, tuning in and keep um, hitting on the subscribe button to get us to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for always tuning in and thank you for always coming to check on us. I love you so much. I love you for sitting through. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Stay tuned and God bless you.